Hello and welcome to windowsreport.com. My name is Henrik Fag. Numerous users have posted on the Microsoft forum about a 0x800FO986 Windows update error. That error arises when they try to download cumulative patches updates via settings in, my, in Windows 10 1909. Instead of downloading the updates, in settings displayed an updates failed error message with the error code. Consequently, users can't download various patches for Windows 10. So how do you fix the update error 0x800F0986? The first method is to check the Windows update service is enabled. All you have to do is once you're on the home screen, press Windows plus the R key. Down here, type in services.msc and then hit enter or press the OK button. Now, once you're in here, Press W so you find the W section. Go down until you find Windows Update, which should be on the bottom here. Then double click on it. Down here, the services might say running or stopped. If it says stopped, you can press on start and then make sure the startup type is on automatic. Then if again, if it's on stopped, press on start. After that, press apply and okay. See if the issue is fixed. If not, try the second method, which is to open the Windows Update Troubleshooter. On the bottom search bar for Windows, type in Troubleshoot. You should see Troubleshoot settings on the top and click on it. And then, once you're in here, go where it says Get Up and Running and look for the Windows Update section. Then click on it and press on Run the Troubleshooter. It will now detect any problems. If there's any problems, you can press on apply this fix option for any suggested resolutions. Once you've completed that, try to restart your computer and see if the issue is fixed. If not, the third method is to clear out the software distribution folder. First of all, you have to stop the Windows Update service again. So go back into Services MSC by typing Windows plus R, then find the Windows update section, click on it and press on stop and then press on apply and OK. And go to your file explorer. Go to wherever you installed your Windows. On my case, it's on my C drive. Go to Windows. Once you're on here, go down to software distribution, which should be a little bit further down because S is pretty far back in the alphabet. Then go to download and press Control A and then press delete or right click on it and press delete. Then again, start your Windows services again or Windows update. Go back on update and press on start, apply and OK. Reset your computer and see if that fixed the issue. And the final method is to reset Windows 10. All you have to do is on the bottom, press reset or type in reset and then select reset this PC. Press on get started, and then you can choose to keep all your files or remove everything so you have a clean install. And then follow the on-screen prompts. If the issue still persists after all these methods, make sure to read the article down in the description and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.